Hey there. Few months ago, I found myself at career crossroad. After a year as a senior engineer and a technical lead, I decided to switch to being a an individual contributor or IC. But then the came the big questions. Should I become a staff engineer or solution architecture? I did a lot of research and talked to the many people to figure this out. It was a bit confusing, but finally got the clear picture. Today I want to share that with you using the simple real life example so you don't face the same confusion I did. Let's dive in and clear this up with a fun analogy. Imagine designing and building a playground. Who does? What? But before we diving, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do it now so this way you won't miss any of my video where we explore a career tips and technical insight. Let's understand solution architect, the playground designer. Imagine the solution architect as a person who designed entire playground. So they think about the big picture and how everything fit together. They decide where the swing, slide and sandbox go, making sure there is enough space and everything is safe. They talk to the kid, that is a business stakeholder, to understand what they want in a playground. Maybe the kids want a climbing wall or merry-go-round. So solution architecture plan where to put this thing and make a blueprint, which is the architectural plan of the playground. They make sure that the playground is fun, meet the business goal, safe, it is secured, and easy to play, which is scalable and maintainable. Another side of this is staff engineer, the master builder. Now staff engineer is like a master builder who actually build a playground equipment. They are expert at making the best swing, the fastest slide and the sturdiest monkey bar. They take the blueprint from the solution architects and get to work on the details. They hammer the nails, tighten the bolts and make sure everything built perfectly. They might even figure out clever way to make the swing higher or slide smoother. If other builder like a junior engineer need help or get stuck, staff engineers show them how to do things right and teach them a new tricks. Key difference in a fun way. Big pictures versus so it's like solution architects think about where everything goes in the playground and how it all works together. Whereas staff engineer focus on building the best swing and slide, making sure they work perfectly. Talking to kid versus a building stuff. Solution architects talk to the kid to find out what they want in the playground and make the plan. Staff engineer uses the plan to build the playground equipment and make sure it's awesome. So it's like blueprint maker versus a builder. Solution architects make the blueprint for the playground. Staff engineers follow the blueprint to build a playground equipment. By thinking of solution architects as a person who designed the playground and a staff engineer as a master builder who create the equipment, it is easy to remember how their role are different but equally important. And remember, sometimes a company define a role based on their specific need. So it's always better to confirm and align with that before coming to the conclusion. So what do you feel about this learning? Comment below. So let's learn together and grow together. Thank you.